Homeowners who lost everything in this weekend's Wooldridge fire might be getting help from the state. Good evening, I'm Taylor Freeman. Thank you for joining us tonight. Governor Parson toured the town this afternoon with other state agencies. KMU8's Matt McCabe is there now with what comes next for the community. Matt. People who live down here in the floodplain of the town of Wooldridge are having to start their lives over again. Many weren't able to save much from their homes or even their cars, but Governor Parson says the immediate needs right now are food, clothing, and a place to stay. He also says that towns like this with a lot of farmland and conservation land are going to continue to be areas of concern for as long as the state's drought continues. Pay attention to the surroundings, you know, you know, when, when the wind's blowing, high winds and it's dry as we've had, we've had one of the worst droughts uh, in a long time. You got to be aware of that, but still, life's got to go on, you know, and, and for farmers and a farmer myself, you go out there and you blow, you know, you spin a bearing out there, things are going to get hot real quick and before you know it and things mm -hmm. can start like that. And Governor Parson says also right now that there's not enough damage to make a federal disaster declaration. But he did say that his state agencies and state partners will do everything that they can to assist people in moving forward. Reporting live in the town of Wooldridge, Matt McCabe, KMU8 News.